Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, The A-List Review. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop, and it's time to go back to the theater. You ever have that creepy feeling that you're being watched? Well, wait till you see this. My review of the 2022 psychological thriller, Watcher, coming up now. Julia, a young American actress, moves with her husband, Francis, to Bucharest, Romania. Julia, of course, is hurt by the language barrier and has a tough time making friends and feeling isolated. Julia begins to suspect that a man in an apartment across the street is constantly watching her in her apartment. Soon after, bodies of women have been turning up from a serial killer on the loose who's been beheading his victims. Julia soon believes the nosy neighbor could be the killer, and even worse, she begins to feel like she's being followed. So what did I think of Watcher? I thought it's a chilling psychological thriller. It's directed by Chloe Acuno, who's making her feature film directorial debut, but is known for her short films, Slut, and the segment Storm Drain in the film VHS 94. There are some very creepy shots here. Seeing the figure staring out the window at Julia can be bone-chilling at times. It's definitely believable, and it's pretty easy to have a fear of paranoia of being watched. I also like the effect of us not seeing the stalker's face until much later in the film, and it's blurred or far away in the background, making it more eerie until the reveal. There's really terrific atmosphere, suspense, and tension throughout, some of the highlights being the man sitting behind her in a movie theater and peeking through aisles of a grocery store at Julia. Sound is a big part of the thrills as well and is used in a fantastic fashion, as it's, pretty, it's a pretty quiet film and then gets loud to surprise the audience. There are a few jump scares, but they're all earned and actually did make me jump. The film does have some cliches, the husband who doesn't believe our protagonist is way overdone, and of course we get a fake-out dream sequence, bleep, which has become the bane of my existence. The story is simple but effective, and it has us wonder at times if Julia really is losing her mind, and if these odd meetings are coincidental, or if the man is stalking her in reality. There are some moments that can be predictable, and the ending and climax end rather quickly. Maika Monroe stars as Julia, the actress who moves to Romania but speaks English, begins to feel lonely, and starts to feel in danger from the neighbor across the street. Carl Glusman as Francis, Julia's husband, who feels she's overacting about the whole situation. Bern Gorman as Daniel Weber, Julia's neighbor who's been following her and Mad Madalena Anea as Arena, Julia's neighbor she begins to form a bond with. Watcher gives us a familiar idea, but makes it fresh, and more importantly, creepy enough to make it worth a look. Number-wise, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10, which gives it the A-list rating of... Do It. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West Troop A List. And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter, the Instagram, and Letterboxd at West A List. Until next time, Troop. Out.